In this video, I wanna discuss some different ways you can use ChatGPT to help you plan and schedule construction projects. Project scheduling is the tools and processes we use to ensure our project finishes on time. So it's basically everything we do for our construction project to ensure that it finishes within the project timeframe. So the allowable duration for the project consists of tools like developing schedules, implementing a schedule, monitoring and controlling the schedule. The schedule is the tool we use to do this. So the schedule helps us calculate the duration of the project. So when we develop a schedule, we work out how long the project is going to take to complete. Once that project duration is fixed, it helps us to then sequence and coordinate the works to make sure activities occur on the dates that they're planned to. It helps us keep our stakeholders informed and understand the current project progress. It helps us to estimate and control costs. We can use the schedule to estimate our indirect costs, and then we can use the schedule during construction to help us plan and prepare for different activities. And it also helps to make decisions when things change during the course of the project. So the schedule is a fundamental project management tool. Some different ways you can use ChatGPT to enhance this process include understanding the development process. So scheduling is quite a technical activity. There's a lot of different terminologies and project management processes that you should use to develop a schedule. ChatGPT can be useful to understand these processes. ChatGPT can also be useful with the initial schedule creation, it can help with once you then move into project delivery, allocating and sequencing tasks, so that can help with implementing the schedule. And then also during construction, when you're monitoring and controlling the schedule, you can also use ChatGPT to help with data and schedule analysis. So the first use case of ChatGPT for project scheduling I'll talk about is actually using ChatGPT to understand key scheduling concepts like the critical path, like floats, and the actual processes we use to create a schedule. So this is going to be where you use ChatGPT to actually understand the technical side of project scheduling. So a really simple example, I've asked ChatGPT, how would I develop a project schedule? It's told me to define the scope, break the scope down into a work breakdown structure, estimate the activity duration, sequence the activities, set milestones, review and optimize, and so on and so forth. So you can actually get ChatGPT to teach you how to schedule, which is a bit of a shortcut from doing a whole lot of research yourself, but it's probably one of the best use cases I find for ChatGPT, which is just understanding new concepts, particularly technical concepts that's incredibly good at explaining. So the next use I wanna talk about is actually setting up and beginning to develop a schedule. So you can use ChatGPT to develop a work breakdown structure. And the key here is you wanna prompt ChatGPT so that data, the structure it gives you, the output, matches whatever scheduling software you're using. So if you're using Microsoft Project or if you're using a specific Gantt chart template, you wanna make sure data that ChatGPT is giving you reflects that structure. Once you've set up the work breakdown structure, you can then use ChatGPT to extend on this to allocate and sequence tasks. So you extend the work breakdown structure to understand the resourcing, the sequence of the different activities, and also to determine the resource requirements for different activities. So you use ChatGPT to set up your initial work breakdown structure, the list of tasks that you need to complete to complete the project, then you can use ChatGPT to sequence these tasks, get them to tell you the order they need to be completed in and tell you what resources you need. Here, I've asked ChatGPT, can you please turn the schedule into work breakdown structure format with activity ID and so on and so forth. So it's taken our example of project, the gateway expansion project. It's got an activity code, an activity task, a duration, and also a predecessor for every activity. It's listed out all the tasks we need to complete the project, it's estimated duration, and it's put in there a predecessor for activity. Okay, so we've used ChatGPT to create a project schedule. The next thing you can use it for is data analysis. So you can use ChatGPT to analyze data or data from the schedule and get it to understand the implications, perform earned value management calculations, and basically perform data analysis on the schedule to provide you insights that you can use to manage the schedule better. As an example, I've asked ChatGPT how many inclement weather days should we allow in the schedule if we're performing this project in Melbourne, Australia. It's looked at historical weather days, the average number of rainy days per month, and then based on the time period of our project, it's told us how many inclement weather days to allow if the project occurs in different seasons. So we've 
use ChatGPT rather than having to research and find the data ourselves. We'll use ChatGPT to find this information for us. Then once we've collected a whole lot of data, we've created our list of tasks, put them in the correct order, found any additional information we need, we could export all this information into a Gantt chart. Key point here, as I mentioned before, is you want to make sure the data that ChatGPT gives you, you're giving it the correct prompts so you can simply copy and paste the information that you've been provided into the schedule model. So here I've got the data from my schedule model. It's given me the activities, the activity names, the start dates, the dependencies, and the durations of all the activities. And I've told it to give it in the format that I'll copy it into my table. So I've made sure the format it's giving me matches the Gantt chart I'm using. So this is just a simple Excel Gantt chart I've used. And I've asked for the information to give me in terms of the activities, the start dates, the finish dates, and the duration. So I can simply just extract the data from ChatGPT and copy it in rather than having to do some additional level of data processing. So just make sure when you're telling ChatGPT, Whatever scheduling software you're using, like Microsoft Project, Primavera P6, whatever you're using, just make sure you're prompting it to give you the data in the correct format. Okay, in my experience, the biggest challenges to project scheduling that I regularly see is making sure the schedule is accurate and realistic, maintaining its relevance through the life cycle of the project. So people tend to put a lot of effort up front in developing a perfect schedule, but they fail to maintain it during project delivery. And then also communicating the schedule with stakeholders. These are the things that in my experience, projects struggle with the most. So the first, accuracy and realism. I've already shown that we can use ChatGPT to create a work breakdown structure, refine it and check it so it can help us to take all the information we need for our project, compile it together and reflect this in the structure of the schedule. With using ChatGPT, it's easy to make updates and feedback so we can help to maintain the relevance of the schedule. And then also something I didn't mention during this, but if we have a big messy schedule with hundreds of lines, we could also put this into ChatGPT and get it to extract key milestones that are relevant to specific stakeholders. So if you can imagine, we're working on a road project. We have a schedule with 2,000 different lines, but all our stakeholder wants to know is disruption to the area of the road out the front of the school. We could then extract the key milestones of the schedule for this specific stakeholder. So that's a use case you could use to enhance communication. 